just as I thought. Hey, at least it was funny. We gotta admit it. Uh, yes. But if we hear more of Detective Atwood's Objection. testimony. Unfortunately, that's as far as you go, Mrs. Wright. What do you mean? I won't allow you any more testimony, that's what I mean. What? Have you forgotten? Look at me, is here after we interrupted his own trial. And you have failed to prove the committee murder. I think it's time for the witness to return to his own trial. And face his guilty village as Master the Mask. No. Well, now, so lawyer, I see the law wins out in the end after all. I'm the eighth death as Master of the Mask. My murder will verify that. This run, the lights will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that with the force, full force of my eight detective. And everyone lose the internet. Order, order, order the court. There's the deliberation over this with this. I can't believe it. At this rate, we're on it. Don't give up, Nick. We still have tomorrow. We can work for more evidence and. By then, it'll be too late. Huh? Why? You'll throw me another bug at me. Yeah. Double geo party. One of the basic rules in any of the court wall. Not with Geo Party. Should the defendant be tried to found in the city court, that defendant cannot be tried again for the same price. And this is a fundamental rule of all courts. And it applies to this witness, much as it applies to anyone else. Mr. Atme will be found guilty in a matter of minutes. Guilty as master of the mask, which means. He will be innocent as far as the murderer of Kane Bolan is concerned. No way! The fact that you were unable to prove Mr. Atkins guilt of that crime here means that you will never again be tried to save Bullock's murderer. <laughs> what? Well, we're all screwed, aren't well, we? Well, this is not going well. How was your day, NS? Besides, <laughs> you screwed that up part, but you know. But it was funny, anyway. Yeah. Now, there's nothing I could possibly do. I'm sorry, I can't help but think of that. Even if Ron is proclaimed to be innocent, the real killer, look at me, will go free. You have crossed the every statement the witness has made here today, and as long as there is no more testimony, I will pray have to declare that there will be no further questioning of this witness. Are there any other, are there any objections? Fudge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's only fudge in the end. Fudge is good. My copy. <laughs> <laughs> then I hereby end the cross nation look at me. Objection! Oh what? I actually have a voice now. I think I see it. Your Honor, when you were a child, this is what was on your park card every year. Well, what she was spying all this time? As poor hearing and often makes mistakes as a result. Oh, it's you! Phoenix, raise your head up high. Have you forgotten what I used to tell you? A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. That voice. No way. It is. Long time no see, Phoenix. Mia! Yeah. This is the true power of the crime channeling technique. I know that it's really Mayo's thing to perform. Right now, she's my mentor, Mia Fey. With big boobs. Now, let's do this. But, but there's nothing more we can do, Mia. Without any more testimony, I can't cross examine. Not yet. The testimony's not over yet. What do you mean? Your Honor, just now you said something very interesting. Yeah, cross examine every state of the witness has been here today. Yes, that's true, but. Unfortunately, Your Honor, you're forgetting something. Earlier, after the last examination, the witness made a number of remarks. Well, now, so lawyer, it seems the law of winds out the win after I'm the last death, but I'm the last death, I very will verify that. Just run the lines, we will verify that you're the true but I declare that with the full force of my eighth detectiveness. It's a good thing you said that you declared that. Yes, but these comments appear to have no importance what to very well, then we shall provide their importance to the cross examination. At any rate, as long as the witness has made these remarks, we the defense assert our right to question them. Is that alright with you, prosecutor? Five, six thoughts? Is <laughs> something the matter, Mr. Godo? Ah, uh, nothing. Oh, sir, lawyer, looks like you're one step too late. If you think such falsehoods will do anything to me, look at. Well, let's hear it. Oh? Huh? I'm bored. <laughs> so might as well. It's true that the witness made some remarks. So then, let's hear the last bit of cross-examination. Mr. Godel, what are you? And the biggest cross-examination. Well, very well, then. Look at me. I'll allow the defense to cross-examine your earlier remarks. 
The defense would like to hear what you why you declare the defendant to be the true murderer. So please, give us one last bit of testimony. I, uh, uh. Phoenix, this is it. This is our absolute last chance. Yes, Chief. And this is actually the longest testimony ever. He has literally 11 statements without heading them by just pressing it. And actually, we cannot even press anything besides one statement. So anyways, we're yeah, still... Yeah, if, if you press the wrong one, it's game over. It probably is. We didn't test that, but we didn't want to try it. Yeah, so. The last testament, but it probably it is. Indeed, it is true that I was not a lovely tailor. I had to leave to see about another vitally important job. I had known about the day before, and so I had this photograph to read it. My brief deduction was what informed me that the true cover was from the light. And thanks to the key card, all I did was abundantly clear that he was there. I was able I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzer, which only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? The face that would have left grids if he sounded. Me, the killer sounded. Mr. Delight was wearing his mask on about something, which is why he left no print. T T T. And the blackmail water? The bit of like glee just mistook the color of the jewels. Sorry! Therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy. No, actually, you kind of just point to yourself, but whatever. Whatever. This testimony actually seems to hold up pretty well. Not really. The, the witness the earlier remark do not appear to have been hastily prepared. All of his points have been displayed, and none of them seem to contradict anything. What the of course? But of course! But how did you know about the emergency buzzer? The police investigation documents went directly to through me, and I always look over all the documents. It's elementary, so lawyer. Gah. Are you going to make even more trouble to us now, Sir Lawyer? I will not allow any of your usual shenanigans, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. We cannot postpone Luke at me's trial any longer. This is last chance. Hang on a sec. One chance? Yes, we are asses. Uh, hi, it seems that the party is about to begin. Well, Phoenix, is there any evidence that contradicts with that testimony? So it would seem. What do you mean, so it would seem? Listen to me. Pointing out contradictions doesn't always mean you have to present evidence, does it? At any rate, this is our last chance. If you can't point out a case breaking contradiction, you lose. That's all there is to it. Are you kidding? Come on, tell me it's the last cup now. Cup number 17. Yes. I guess you <laughs> guessed it. The last cup. You were like, you guessed that. I was like, well, it has to be. It seems like time has come to put an end to this trial. Yes, I kinda am tired of this case, so let's move on. I have to find a fatal contradiction in this testimony. And I need to point it out without first any evidence. What which means all I can do is find a contradictory remark of present. Remember, you only get one chance. Yeah. Very well there, Mr. Wright. Please begin your final cross examination. And the statement is the ninth statement. Exactly. In as which he says, Oh, he's my son, but he left no friends! No, uh, the part where he said he was using the mask to the mask. Costume. Yeah, but we only learned that before he arrived, and as we know, he didn't he even say it himself that he didn't fucking know what happened before the, the trial. Before he arrived, pretty much. So, that's where the, well, the contradiction lies, so we have to press that statement. It's this one. We're, okay, there we go. Go on. Mr. Anthony, about this last remark. Objection. Oh, for God's sake, Goto! You still don't get it, do you, Tride? This isn't the time for pressing the witness every little statement. Fuck you, I have to shake my I'm afraid, hand. you're the one who still doesn't get it, Mr. Goto. What? Mr. Atme, it seems you have finally admitted that you were the CEO's doctor on the night of the murder. How can you say that? Because I am Phoenix right, I guess. Let's review the testimony, shall we, Mr. Atme? The bot did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Mr. Delight was wearing his mask on about his outfit. Is that correct? Indeed, that's what I said. My deductions are absolutely foolproof. No, they are... yeah. More like your deductions prove that you're a fool. I... I'm sorry, whatever do you mean? For some reason, I'm starting to get really thirsty. When exactly did we learn the fact that Ron Delight was dressed as Thunderman when he went to the scene of the crime? That was... Uh, that was a few hours ago. Back when my six cup was looking at me with a cold stare. Yeah, let's remember. That sexy cold cup. Uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> um, how did I forget to mention it before? 
I'm sorry, I never had a chance to mention it until now. That's right. The defendant has yet to tell anyone else this fact before this morning. Therefore, the only people who, can, who should know the, this are those who have been watching this trial. Grr. Do you understand now, Detective Afmi? There is no way that you should have known about that! Infinite Cut! Uh, Cut! Yeah, whatever! You were in the next courtroom being tried to match out the match. So then, enlighten us! Just how did you know about that piece of information? Objection! Slap! Come on, the detective must have known about it. He probably had a plenty of chances to find out beforehand. And it's those chances that I want to discuss next. That night, Mr. Zolai was wearing his master on the man's outfit. There is one and only one way for the detective Adley to have found that out. Only one? Only one way, do you say? Please remember, if you will, Mr. Zolai's testimony. Oh, great. More remembering. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. A pixelated the shadow that looked like it like at me. For a second, my client witnessed the real killer. I said that uh, <laughs> what, 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 I don't even know. But Mr. Delight never saw him. There's no way to tell whenever or not the real killer was to look at me. Uh, it's with that statement that I'll turn this case on its head. Just what are you implying? Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now, if you turn that statement around, it says to follow that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. Impossible! <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 My wait. My head. My head. My head! How you doing? Oh, it was with me after all. I thought it was Mia. The death of me. You saw Matt Stardomast at the murder scene that night. You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Ron the line. That was the only way you could have known what Ron was, was wearing. What, a... what is this power of? <laughs> Starting Super C. <laughs> He's a super <laughs> Check out good luck, everyone! Unable to find a rival word in my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown! It's the same line you gave yesterday. I guess it ran out of volumes. But, but this time, it's a super ace fake detective, yeah. But I think there's a little more meaning behind it this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this time he went crazy. I think that's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. That's not what's supposed to be that. Like that. What an awfully complicated incident. Kane Bullet was blackmailing Look at me, who did you black Bailey run the light? And upon killing his black Bailey, look at me tried to frame run the light. He then claimed to be guilty of last time in order to escape his true crime. And to that end, he came up with this plan. Use the double jeopardy rule when making it a lie. At any rate, I would see we finally found the truth. Excuse me. I came furiously close to Miss Murchie, the record of an innocent young man. Miss Murchie came with the title of murderer. Don't ignore me, dude! Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Why wouldn't he be? Yeah, why wouldn't he be? About the victory. Yeah, I know. You never committed any murder. That's right. I'm so glad you understand that, but I am... I'm really am I started to ask! Dude? Uh? So, thanks to that try yesterday, I'm innocent now, right? Uh... What was it you said? Double to your party? Now that you mentioned it... I've been careless. Careless? Um, what do you think, Mia? As the defendant said, the rule of double jeopardy is absolute. The defendant can never be tried twice for a crime which he was found, he was once found innocent. Then, Master Artemis is really innocent? For now, it would seem so. For now. Noted! This court finds the defendant not guilty. guilty! And confetti away! God damn, this second case was wrong. Boy, this is really lucky, wait, uh, my. That isn't good after all. You see, the thing is, I still am Master Mask after all. <laughs> Oh man. Anyways, the 
And it will be number four. You did it, Nick. And Thanks, always. Mia. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because Maya doesn't call me much these days. Oh. I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't think everything's so serious. But on the other hand, Maya, she's kind of lost these days. You mean about becoming the master of the crime family in school? Becoming the master and saying goodbye to our mother. You mean Misty Faye? Watch over her, will you, Phoenix? Of course. Well then, see you around. There goes Boots. Anyways, uh, Mr. Wright! Uh, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, Mr. Delight. Uh, thank you so much! But, no, wait. Nothing really matters anymore, though. Now that... Come on! Just be happy already! Bye, yeah. You've been cleared of the murder charges of the go as Master Musket to boot. But in exchange, I've lost everything. Uh-huh. What do you mean? Seeing the security information of the GP Security becoming Master of the Mask. I did it all for one reason, for her. You mean your wife, Desiree? She hates criminals more than anything. Come to think of it, she was once held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said, oh, she hated sneaky criminals, dude! I knew that! I knew that, dude! Once I figured out to keep me security, I lost all the money I had! She wouldn't have any reason to stay with a pretty like me! I thought she wouldn't leave me for sure, dude! So, that's why you became a Thundermatch. Yes, but it's all over now! The broken bowl can never be back together, dude! That's not true, right, Nick? Right. Really? Can you... Can we go back as the things for, dude? We'll be fine, and they can prove it. I can. I kind of wish you would check with me first. Yeah, it's always like that. Even if the bow's broken, there's always a way to put okay, it back together. The case is the good ending or bad ending on this thing. So we have to present the right evidence. If we present the wrong one, we get kind of the bad ending. It's not really that bad, but you know, in this case, let's just present the good endings. Obviously, we're not going to go for the bad ones. Uh, the secret urn? Daisy was the one who was to found this. Desiree, your wife. She's always believing you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Ah, there you are. Now, <laughs> if you get it a bad ending, you will, uh, you will just leave and Daisy would go after him. Mr. Light, you did it, Ronnie. You're innocent. I'm so happy. Thank you. I appreciate that. But um, I'm supposed you don't want anything more to do with me, do you? Ronnie, why didn't you talk to me about what was going on? I had no idea you quit KB security. I never imagined that you were really masked on the mask either. Mr. The White, what are you going to do now that you know? You're not going to really leave him, are you? Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? After all, my bike really fast. So fast that there's no way you could ever get away. Uh, but didn't you say that you hated criminals? Hmm? Oh, I only hate people who ask how cowardly and sneaky, like that detective. I see. I only went and declared his crime before he committed them, like a man. I just love a man who's so chivalrous. Chivalrous. I knew I was right about you. Every day I spent with you is filled with thrills and excitement. Daisy! That's it. You really do love Ron, don't you? Nicky boy. Yes? I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Oh, well, um, take care of yourself. You too, Nicky boy. You too. That's a lot of going. Oh, I can feel my face going red. <laughs> oh, remember when I said she would be yeah. back at the end? I was inside this space. I wasn't kidding. Anyways, Mystic Nick. Mystic Nick. Mr. Nick. Mystic. Mr. <laughs> no. Okay, let's start this again. Mystic Nick. <laughs> Mr. Maya. <laughs> Congratulations. And so, Gasp. talk about bad timing. Mr. Nick, how could you? We did another man to Mystic Maya. No, no, no. I'll right, never right. forgive you. Never, ever. Well, isn't that how this all mess started? <laughs> That's a nice story, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just as the case came to a close, so too did my consciousness. Ron said a broken bow can never be, be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Nice 3D picture. 
Here's a perfect example of one that was put back together even better than before. Okay, get this picture up and ask us. You're gonna use it for. Well, I'm gonna use it for the credits. Thank you. <laughs> you hear that? That is from the future. I know you're watching this because you're editing this right now. Or at least the time you're watching this. And now brand new episode's been added, which is Recipe for Turn about one of the one of the best episodes in this game. I wouldn't say the best, but it's good. Actually, or at least the best episode three in, uh, so far. And you've but anyways, we have Gildot in this team. And actually, let's go back to the other one. I don't think we show it. Uh, we can actually see like the characters in the background. This one is actually. I still prefer the ones in the first game though. Mm. Anyways, uh, so yeah, this is all for this episode and set actually. Uh, in next time, we're not gonna do Phoenix Stars of Liberation. We're gonna do filler, which we don't know what it is actually. So we'll think of something. Yeah, in the next few weeks, I think we're gonna do filler, and in the week afterwards, we are gonna be busy with something. Uh, so yeah. Three weeks of nothingness. Or oh, better, two weeks of nothingness. No, two weeks of fillers, one week of nothingness. So three weeks of pretty much no Phoenix Wright Trials Revolutions. Yeah, pretty much. And then uh, RC will start playing, obviously, when uh, when it's the time, the third episode, the beginning. Uh, yeah, I am the one that plays. Okay, <laughs> just yep. making sure. I kind of, kind of forgot. So anyways, we'll see you in the next whatever we're going to do next week. Although this doesn't affect for people that are watching on YouTube since this goes straight forward. I said if you can't with the other videos we are putting at the same time, who knows. But anyways, I don't know the schedule for the future. I probably should, but you know. Let's just move on and end this video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.